While many of the evacuees have moved out of the shelters, they still have a lot of daily needs. Our Lynn Kawano has more on how volunteers at the UH Maui campus continue to help provide hot meals. One of the culinary graduates returned to campus, to the kitchen, to volunteer. That's despite his own loss. Jose Rodriguez Gomez has been volunteering in the kitchen of the University of Hawaii's Maui campus with others connected to the culinary arts program. Gomez, a recent graduate, is helping to feed thousands who lost their homes in the Lahaina fire. But Gomez is also a victim. He and his siblings and his mother had to escape their Opukea family condo as the fire closed in. Dark cloud of smoke kind of just billowed and it completely covered our entire building where it, kind of, it looked like it was nighttime inside of our building and we were like, we, even if there's no fire near us, we cannot stay near the smoke, so we decided let's get out of here. Gomez says volunteering with all the other culinary students and staff in the school's kitchen has helped him during this difficult time. Personally, it makes me feel at home. Uh, the kitchen is, has always been kind of like a second home to me. The school started feeding people in shelters the day after the fire. It peaked at about 12,000 meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. To be able to contribute something, even if it's, you know, just a nice hot meal with some, like, local flavors that, you know, can, you know, help them bring them home a little bit, you know, at least we could do. Now that the shelter residents have been moved to hotels, the focus at UH Maui's kitchen has shifted. Expect the number of meals to drop significantly because they've been sent, being sent to the hotels to stay at the hotels. But I was looking at the list yesterday. It seems like we still are getting requests from those hotels because what's happening at the hotels is they've also laid off their people because there are no paying guests there. About 5,000 prepared meals are now being delivered to the hotels daily. 48 is a third of a gallon. The volunteers say they will continue to provide these meals as long as they're needed and as long as they can. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.